Welcome back to Tech Radar. I'm Deputy Editor John McCann and I'm here to talk to you about iPhones. Apple has launched a new range of iPhone 12 handsets. We've got four to choose from. The Mini, the 12, the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max. But if the 12 or the 12 Mini has taken your fancy then you might want to hold on for a second because I think the iPhone 11 may be a better buy. So yes, maybe you've already taken to the comments to tell me how wrong I am, but listen up, I've got some good points to make, so let's see if you agree. First up, it's price, and this may be a no-brainer, but the phone that's a year old is cheaper than the phone that's replacing it. Okay, you can save up to $200 though in the difference between the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 11. The iPhone 11's price dropped so much, it's also even cheaper than the iPhone 12 mini. So if you were looking at that phone for the affordable option, then actually the iPhone 11 is even more affordable than the mini. So there is some savings to be had here, whether it's the upfront cost, which could save you, as I said, around $200, or if you're looking for it on contract and with Black Friday just around the corner, you may be able to bag yourself an absolute bargain when it comes to high data, low monthly outlay on a contract for the iPhone 11 because it is that year older. So if you're looking to save some money, definitely consider the iPhone 11, but that is not all. Something else that I'm not 100% sold on on the iPhone 12 is its design. Apple has sort of harked back to the iPhone 4 era where it introduced flat edges to its phones. Sure, it looks nice, it looks premium, and it is a little different in today's very much curved edge world of waterfall displays and curved rears and rounded corners. The hard, sharp lines will certainly entice some users, but user be warned. Flat sides on a phone generally aren't great for long periods of time when you're holding them. They can dig into your palms a bit and that just makes it a little uncomfortable, especially if you're planning a big gaming session or you're planning to kick back and maybe watch a movie. Rounded edges on phones are generally, and not for everyone, but generally easier to hold. And guess what has some nice rounded edges to it? It's the iPhone 11. Now, if you want something that you're gonna be holding a lot, the iPhone 11 may be better suited to your palm. Something else that you need to be careful not to get caught up in is 5G. There are plenty of 5G handsets on the market now, which is great, but there is one big problem. 5G itself isn't actually that available. It's relatively limited to pockets of major cities and countries around the world, and especially looking in the US and the UK, majority of people, they don't actually get 5G at home or at work. So if you're in an area and you find that actually at home and at work you don't get 5G connectivity, is a 5G phone really what you need? Do you need to pay that premium? Or maybe you'd be better off waiting two years with an iPhone 11, and then once the carriers and networks have rolled out their networks to majority of the country that you're in, that's the time to upgrade because then you'll be able to really take advantage of those next gen speeds. If you're only going to be able to take advantage of a 5G network connection, you know, once a month for half an hour, there's really no point in having a 5G phone right now. The future is coming and 5G, the carriers will tell you that it's here. Apple will tell you that 5G is here, but for most of us, it's still on its way. So you might want to save yourself the hassle and pick up the iPhone 11. But hang on. The iPhone 11, it's a year older, so it's gonna be a year out of date and it's gonna fall out of date and be less secure over time, right? Well, not really. Apple is fantastic when it comes to providing software updates and it's really good at rolling them back through legacy handsets as well. The latest version of iOS, iOS 14, goes all the way back to the iPhone 6S. That's from several years ago now, which means if you pick up an iPhone 11 now, you'll get the next two three, maybe even four major iOS updates. That gives the handset great longevity. And with most people changing phones every two to three years, you should be well covered with Apple's excellent software updates. So if you're picking up the iPhone 11, but you're not sure about the software, you should be absolutely fine. But don't get me wrong, the iPhone 12 is a better phone than the iPhone 11. If you're looking for an improved camera performance, if you want to get your hands on an iPhone with an OLED display, which is more vibrant, more colorful, just looks better, especially if you do a lot of gaming or video, then the iPhone 12 is a great handset to consider. Obviously, you're gonna be paying a little bit more for that premium. You do get 5G, so if you're in a 5G area, that's fantastic. And it also comes with the MagSafe support, so you can use Apple's fancy new chargers 
cases and more to come I'm sure in terms of accessories so if you want the latest and greatest obviously the iPhone 12 is a better buy but for many the iPhone 11 as I said could well be the phone for you let me know what you make of it in comments you can get me on twitter at jj mccann i'm sure a lot of you will have views either way on this and as always stay tuned to tech radar for even more videos and great content and reviews coming to you all the time i've been john mccann deputy editor thank you very much for watching